What's up, Meta Nerds? This video is going to answer the question, how many seats are in the Republic Senate? It gets a bit complicated, but let's start by just figuring out how many of these pods are in the Senate Rotunda. The canon reference book Ultimate Star Wars says, quote, The huge open area is lined with 1,024 pods, arrayed in concentric circles, each pod housing a delegation from an important planet, sector, or political body. But there isn't just 1,024 senators. In fact, right away we see how convoluted this gets, starting with the very term senator. Unlike a lot of politics from Earth, the terms representatives and senator seem to be used interchangeably. It isn't two different positions with different scope or voting power. Then there was royalty, like the Queen of Naboo, and important groups that were granted representation, like the Trade Federation. We saw that in a single pod representing Naboo, we have the Senator Palpatine and Queen Amidala. And then they fight with a pod that isn't representing a planet or sector, but what is essentially a large union. The Trade Federation has representatives due to their interests affecting millions, if not billions, of employees. A concession that was made by the Republic because it didn't make sense that inconsequential worlds could use voting power to cripple the Trade Federation, which kept wealth flowing across countless important worlds. So the TF would have fit into that last category, political body. But really, besides those handful of exceptions, it was mostly based off of star systems and sectors. In the Legends book, The Essential Atlas, sectors were defined as having a max of 50 inhabited star systems. You can see that there are a ton of sectors even in the outer and mid rims, which are the least densely populated areas. As you move towards the core, you would expect the sectors to get much smaller in their map size, since its denser population means that you hit the 50 system max a lot quicker. So I counted around 176 sectors in the outer rim, and because each sector from the mid into the deep core gets smaller but more dense, let's say that those two factors even each other out, and on average, each area has 176 sectors. This gives us 1,232 sectors, which is more than our pod count at 1,024. But our sector number was just an estimate. It's close enough to think that the true sector count was just under 1,024, leaving room for those handful of exceptions like the Trade Federation. But that raises some funny questions. What happens if you get new sectors? Where do their pods go? It looks pretty cramped in that building. We know that there's multiple galaxies in the Star Wars universe, and in Legends, some of those places are very populated. Also, how does a sector decide how they are going to vote? For example, Naboo is in the Chamul Sector, a sector that has 36 star systems. Palpatine was just called the Senator from Naboo, partly because he was born there, but also because Naboo was the most prominent of the Chamul star systems. But then the Queen from Naboo was able to call a vote of no confidence on the Supreme Chancellor. And she doesn't even represent everyone on just her planet. Does the King of the Gungans have this power? Be gone with him! How about some random ruler for one of the countless other inhabited worlds in just this one sector? And just think about multiplying that madness by a thousand. So you can see why this is confusing, but we can't forget about the delegation of 2000. These were 2,000 senators who all joined together to petition the Chancellor's abuse of emergency powers during the Clone Wars. Keep in mind, this was at a time when Palpatine's ratings were very high. In fact, it is because so many approved of his rule that he was able to become Emperor and still receive thunderous applause. So the 2,000 senators must have been a minority. Not so small that they didn't think they would have an impact, but not even close to half. This is one of the factors that leads people to think that perhaps there were around 10,000 individuals with voting power be they senators, representatives, royalty, or just some large organizations. At around 8 people a pod, I guess this is possible, but I think it's simpler and just worked a lot like voting in most democracies. If 100% of the senators actually turned out to vote, they would have to hold multiple senate sessions. You would need to have around 10 separate sessions in order to have them all there in person. But this isn't what we see in the films. Things are solved as if the session that we are seeing is the whole process. To me, this just means that while some areas might technically have the power to vote, they just choose not to. Like many people, they may just see their contribution as meaningless. That it's all rigged and the Republic just does what it wants. That or only the important sectors have pods, and everyone else is just voting remotely. This way, everyone is still represented, and the politicians that want to be seen and grab holocam time can give their dramatic speeches in this powerful Senate rotunda. So perhaps this building is mostly just for show a sort of political theater, and most of the actual vote casting is done remotely. 
Certainly a technological solution that would be more fitting of a galaxy-spanning civilization, with constituents of hundreds of different species. What do you think of all this? Are there any other sources you know that can help pin down the exact number of senators? What do you think about the multiple senate sessions idea? Or the remote voting option? And do you think the Republic became so diffused and inept that many sectors of the galaxy just ignored the Republic and did their own thing, breaking Republic law but also not voting, all without actually seceding? Definitely let me know in the comments down below. If you want to connect with us, help support the channel, or get your own copies of the reference materials used to make these videos, be sure to check out the links in the description. Special shout out to our supporters over on Patreon, but most important of all, remember, at least they made room for the ET delegation. And the Force will be with you, always.